Welcome, everybody. <laughs> hey, we're live. Can you hear us? Let me make sure the volume's up. And looks like, okay, I see a microphone there. Let me see. Is that looking good? And all right. Okay. So, hey, welcome. We are going to do a special dish called, um, <laughs> called, called, called buffalo cauliflower bites. So I think you might have heard that cauliflower is the uh, vegetable of the of the season. It's like the hot, the new hot thing. So everyone's going with cauliflower. It's the new mashed potato. It's the new smashed potato. It's the new everything. It's the new chicken wing. It's all kinds of stuff. So yeah, cool. it's also really healthy for you. So we're going to try to do cauliflower and, and make it really tasty so you get addicted to it. So you always want cauliflower forever and ever. <laughs> Brian's suspicious. <laughs> Brian's doubtful about, about cauliflower. Well, I don't you know. like cauliflower mashed potatoes. Yeah. The cauliflower is good, yeah. So, okay. So now I'm on this laptop here. A little bit easier to control the camera. Also, we're going to do comparison to this bird's eye version of buffalo cauliflower. What is this gonna taste like? Is this gonna be good, like homemade? So we're gonna do a, a taste test, a blind taste test. Blind taste test. Yeah, Brian's gonna be blindfolded, <laughs> okay. All right, so it's a little bit more involved. Okay, you're what, you're reading the comments, okay? So we got comments coming in. I also want you to Right. I'm ready and excited. Okay. okay, and we're back up to Dan said, "Hey yeah, from Rockford, Illinois." Rockford. Okay. okay, all right. <laughs> I need. I've got contacts, and I should put my glasses mm -hmm. in so I can actually read. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> all right. So, Randy Allison, we are going to start with cauliflower. So, went to the store today, got me a big head of cauliflower, and I already chopped up some. Half of it, because I'm going to be like Rachel Ray here. I'm going to do some stuff. Oven's already on. You know, they pull it out. It's already done. So it's, so it's going to be like I'm a professional. Okay, so cauliflower. And then I already said this earlier, but we're going to compare it to the pre-made buffalo cauliflower. See if that's any good. All right. Now, you, the first thing is, and I'm, I'll put a link to this recipe on the video description. So in case you want to go back and do it. I'll put it all out there, but I don't ever follow a recipe all the way to the T. I just kind of make it up as I go. Sometimes I adjust the ingredients because I know some of these recipes, like Brian doesn't like it that spicy, so I'm not going to put in half a cup of hot sauce. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of hot sauce, okay? <laughs> so you got to be able to adjust it for you. If it says a tablespoon or a teaspoon of garlic powder and you know it's going to be too much for you because it's a lot, then, uh, then adjust it for yourself. So oven's on 450, that's pretty high. That's like pizza temperature because it takes a lot of heat to get that cauliflower tender. So 450 is what you want to get your oven set to and it takes 15 minutes to get to that temperature. So you want to start there. And then getting your cauliflower cut up. So you want bite size pieces. That's a little bit bigger than bite size, but something that you can kind of pop in your mouth. So that's what we're looking for is the bite-sized cauliflower. James Wilson. Hi from Northern Ireland. 12.35 a.m. Tuesday morning. Wow. wow. Welcome, Tuesday. Thanks Jeez. for staying up late. Yeah. <laughs> early. Early. early bird. Night owl. Both. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we to gotta get our cauliflower bites. Now, if you know that you're really, really going to – oh, cheeseburger. Thanks for sending us a uh, super chat. Thanks. Three bucks. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, just pay for our cauliflower. <laughs> You're funding our recipe. So um, with the cauliflower bites, you want to get a bite size. I said this already. And I'm not going to cut up the whole head of cauliflower because unless you know that you're going to love this recipe, it's a lot of cauliflower when you get a big head like that. Because <clears throat> when I go to the store, cauliflower is by the each, not by the pound. So I get the biggest one I can find because they're all the same price usually. Usually cauliflower is, you know, $3 a head. <clears throat> okay, next step. So there's two stages to this recipe. And the stages are, one, you got to get your breading ready. So you're going to bread your cauliflower first. And... Um, How do you bowl her? Brian's over here. He's not, in the, <laughs> he's not in the shot. He's reading the chat. <laughs> I took my contacts out so oh. I could see things. Oh, so. <laughs> can you see? Oh, you need glasses? 
I have glasses. Okay. <laughs> I don't need glasses to read. I need glasses okay. to see long distance. Okay. I need them off to read. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hello so, from uh, South Texas, Hunter. <laughs> yes, yeah. And uh, Mike is from Boulder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So the neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> um, and okay. So two stages to this recipe. Let me get back to the recipe. Two steps. One is you got to bread your cauliflower and then cook it for 25 minutes. And I know that's a big time investment for people that want to cook last minute, but this is worth it. This is this is Super Bowl quality. This I should have done this yesterday <laughs> for folks, yesterday. right? So Super Bowl quality eatings right here. Because so, we because we can farm. So love from Idaho. Idaho, sweet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now to make your bread flour. James Wilson a bit up of with the cows calving. Oh wow. Cauliflower, turnip, and cabbage, all popular in Ireland. Yes. Tur I love that. Turnips and cabbage and uh, cauliflower. Okay, so milk. You can use any milk that you want. I've got a little bit of almond milk. You're never going to taste the flavor of milk. It's just to make it wet. So a little bit of milk. And I'm not – I'll put the ingredient amounts for you in the – I'm not doing the exact amounts right now. So I'm just doing it for show, right? So a little bit of milk because I already had some in this bowl. And then a little bit of flour. Now, I can tell you about the flour. You can use all-purpose flour, right? Or you can use white whole wheat flour. In white whole wheat flour, you're going to get all the extra fiber and vitamins. And it doesn't taste like grainy and weedy like regular whole wheat. It's white whole wheat. So it's a little bit more like white flour, but all 100% whole grain. So that's what I like to use for doing breading. Kathy's in Barbados watching this. Barbados, wow. wow. I can't wait to go to places like that. I know. In March, in <laughs> yeah. the middle of winter, after we've had enough. A <laughs> little bit of garlic powder. I'm just going to do a couple shakes. So we're working on the breading. Okay, that was a lot. Oops. Someone's going to have garlic bread. Oh, yeah, I like garlic. And then uh, a little bit of salt and pepper. So a couple of cranks on the pepper. And a few shakes of salt. This is just for the this is for the breading on the cauliflower. I'm gonna mix it up. Just using a fork, mix up the breading. This is what you're gonna dip your cauliflower into. Get it coated. Because the breading, you get your cauliflower really, really soft on high heat, and then you have your sauce, and it's gonna be delicious. All right. So next step is going to be dipping the cauliflower. Brian can do this part. I'm going to get the tray ready so he has a place to put the cauliflower when it comes out. Cooking tray. All right. With the silicone placemat on it. Yeah. This is actually ready for uh, cookies. See? It's all divided up. Cookies. <laughs> is that a, what Iron Man eats? Yes. What? You need to have cookies. like a cookie making show okay cookie making healthy cookies remember those cookies we used to oh, make all yeah, the time I do remember that. so um kathy from barbados alice wonderland says glass of glasses to read oh glasses to read and glasses to see where you're going um and mike is going to freeze up some cauliflower sounds like Let's look, look at Brian. So he's found an efficient way to bread all of his cauliflower bites by throwing them all in the bowl at the same time. Yeah, how about that? It's efficient. Yeah, that's a cooking technique right there for you. So then you're spreading them out on to the sheet. And they're all going to have their little place. And then they go into the oven for 50, for 25 minutes. But it's worth it. You want them to be in there that long because you want to have... Nice and tender vittles. <laughs> okay. So now while those are baking, you mix up your sauce. This is your buffalo sauce. So the buffalo sauce is honey. So if you can have wild mountain honey or just honey, whatever honey you can find, sweetener. And this is the most, the interesting part is what you want to use for hot sauce. So my favorite is sriracha because it's kind of on the sweet side and it's not so, it's not vinegary at all. It's just really more of like a sweet paste. I think it has a lot of flavor and you don't need a ton of it. And anyhow, you could use Frank's red hot sauce. You can use Frank's buffalo sauce. Any of those buffalo sauces that you see in the grocery store, you could use any of those for your sauce. But I'm using the sriracha red 
and honey. So it's like go to taste, but a lot of times the recipe will say a few tablespoons, right, of the hot sauce. I'm just using a couple teaspoons. I'm using two tablespoons of honey and then butter or coconut oil. Hunter Lozano, four ninety there. Uh, yeah, super chat. super chat, Hunter. Thanks, Hunter. You're gonna be excited. <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm excited. Okay. I know you are. You're like, what is, what's happening here? What is super chat? This is what's fun this about live streams. So. Yeah. yeah, this is why people do live streams. You get a chance to talk to folks and you read their chat. Yeah. Cool. Did you read his chat? That's yeah. the reason why you do it. <laughs> you guys, uh, he says we're freezing up. Oh. Oh, well, I have it on um, my hotspot, but it's the fastest that we have. Yeah. Hmm. Anybody know how to get Starlink? S tell Starlink <laughs> to call Colorado Mountain Living. Because we're in the middle of nowhere, and we have the worst internet. We don't use Wi-Fi. Well, I'm, I don't use Wi-Fi for YouTube because it's too slow. Seven megabytes per second download. Seven, not 70. And uh, I, was, I was downloading a bike ride earlier today. It was like one. It was less than one megabyte. Yeah. So we're still working out technology in the mountains, one of the drawbacks, but we'll see if we can, we can pace ourselves on the, <laughs> on the live stream so we don't go too much too fast <laughs> forward. Um, so we're working on the sauce, couple tablespoons of honey and then butter. So you can use butter or coconut oil as, as kind of like part of your glaze. So I already melted this in the, in the microwave you could do it on the stove top, melt your butter, mix it in, make a nice glaze of hot sauce, honey, and fat or oil of your choice. So this goes in. Brian's done with a with a um, cauliflower bite. These are going in the oven. Timer 25. But wait for it. It's the Rachel A moment. Probably already saw the video skit. I had some in the oven earlier. So here's our... <laughs> Cauliflower, cauliflower bites pre-done, 25 minutes in the oven. Mm, it's a little bit hot. So now these are going to get the glaze. So they're going to go back in the oven after this. So I'm just going to glaze over the top of the cauliflower bites with honey, hot sauce, and butter mixture. I actually think I used, used the coconut, oil. coconut oil and butter. I used a combo. But this is going to give you that, obviously, the buffalo flavor. And you can make it as sweet as you want. You could make it as spicy as you want. So it's totally up to you how you adjust your sauce, your glaze flavor. Okay. And last one. So then these will go back into the oven for another 10 minutes. So it seems like, oh my gosh, another 10 minutes, but it's gonna kind of give the glaze a chance to sort of firm up and then soften up that cauliflower even more so they just like melt in your mouth. All right, put them back in. Yeah, we got the other ones in there, right? So we'll have to set a timer on the watch for, for 10 minutes. But that's the end of the recipe, but that's not, it's not done yet because I like to make a dipping slow nuggets. It's nice to have something to dip it in. So some people like to do ranch or blue cheese if they do a dipping sauce, but I do a little another combination with some of that smoky flavor. And I think I've showed you guys this before. So. I'm going to use yogurt. I know not everybody's cup of tea. You can use sour cream if you want to. More stream freezing. Oh. Hmm. Oh, boy. Sorry. Sorry. I know we're on, <laughs> I'm on hot spot. And that's like the fastest that we have because Wi-Fi wouldn't let us do, wouldn't let us do it. Yeah. The only other way is with the, with the phone itself. So sometimes that might work. Using a using an actual phone oh, okay. to do it because right. it might be sometimes when they when you tether with data, right. it makes it go slower than yeah. your normal speed. Yeah. So maybe I thought it would be fun to kind of it's working now. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm going to blame YouTube. No, I'm blaming <laughs> it on your internet. Please, Starlink, save us. This yes. is the curse of our YouTube existence. Yes. No, it's the curse of working from home. Because uh, half yeah. the time I'm trying to work on the computer, do stuff, and it's just, it's like no internet. It sucks. So bad. Nothing we can do except wait for Starlink. Okay, so yogurt, you could use plain uh, Greek yogurt. It's kind of dip-like. I would recommend using maybe a more fuller fat version because it tastes a little bit more like sour cream. Uh, or you can use sour cream. But you're going to get more health benefits if you use yogurt. You're going to get more protein. And you're going to get probiotics. And you're going to get uh, the calcium and all that. Yeah, I'm going to use that too. So I'm going to mix it up in a bowl. She makes a potato chip dip with this uh, sweet and smoky. <laughs> potato chip dip. <laughs> Just dip. And you can put anything you want in it. But it tastes well, like good. They really good with potato <laughs> chips. So I've used this before in some recipes. It's McCormick sweet and smoky. It's yeah. not spicy at all. It's almost empty. It is almost <laughs> empty. I got a maple barbecue one, but I don't like it as much. So I'm going to mix that up. Make a little dip out of it. Oops. Foul ball on live stream. Okay. And then I might put a little, little bit of this. Not too much. Signed up yeah. for Sterling. Yeah, we did sign up. Brian put us on the wait list, or what did you? What did uh, you? Uh, beta testing. But beta test group. Beta testing group. Yeah. I haven't heard it. We haven't heard from them, and I know that Colorado's in the running of being like one of the first beta test places. Like I think they're starting in Canada and Washington, but I know Colorado's on that rural list, and if they just called us back, we could yeah. convince them. We could yeah. show them how rural we are and how terrible our internet is. It's so bad. So, I mean, that's kind of why I've stayed away from live streams because I just knew it was not reliable. Okay, so here's our easy dip, right? Little yogurt and sweet and smoky dip. And then that's it. So you could, I like, and I, I might do another another day. Oh, here we go, Brian's. Good. It's good, it's delicious. Do I need more? Mm. Not bad. You probably don't want too much flavor because there's going to be that bubble flavor on the cauliflower. So the good thing about yogurt, and if anybody goes to Indian restaurants, they know this, it's cooling. So if you have a really hot dish or really spicy um, dish, you have yogurt and it kind of cools off your mouth, like drinking milk when you have too much hot sauce. So it's kind of a nice blend to use a yogurt-based dip when you have something hot and spicy. But I didn't make it that hot and spicy, yeah, so we don't, we're not going to have to worry about it too much. Mike said Colorado's further down the list. Oh, Mike. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too far. Is it is it because we're um, – maybe because we're not that far south yet and they're, they're still trying to get the satellites a little bit further south lined up? Maybe. Is that yeah. – I'm hoping good. this year. Like I was hoping like spring, yeah. June – the latest. <laughs> <That'd be nice. laughs> so anyway, the yeah, things will change for us, I think, a little bit when we have some modern internet. Streaming can stink from time to time. So yeah, it's he's saying, yeah, because of the they have to line up those satellites. So oh, well, what else is for dinner? Uh, rotisserie chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't do everything from scratch. This is, I saved a step. I went to the grocery store, got a rotisserie chicken. So um, I think, you know, why not take a shortcut? I think, I, you know, you got to be reasonable with folks and especially with like cooking abilities and stuff. There's nothing more delicious than a rotisserie chicken and it's already cooked and you don't have to worry about it. And it's, the sodium's a little bit higher. So if you're watching your sodium, maybe you don't do it all the time, maybe once a month or a couple of times a month. But otherwise... My favorites. It's easy. Yeah, it's definitely easy. I mean, you can definitely cook a chicken if you if you feel like you can, you know, you've got the time of the day and you can pop in a chicken. But otherwise, a rotisserie chicken, I think, is a, is a great bet for folks that are trying to make healthier choices and trying to do more cooking at home. So I recommend that a lot to clients. Yeah. yeah pick it up on the way home from work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't need to go to a drive through You can go to the grocery store. Sometimes yeah. that's faster than a drive through You go in, self-checkout. And you don't have to wait in line at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So that's right. <laughs> People, it's nothing good at McDonald's. Everyone tells me like uh, fast food. Well, I just you know it's fast. I'm like, but it's not fast. You have to wait in line. You know, it's, it's nothing good. Well, yeah, the 
That's a whole other conversation yeah. too. It's a whole <laughs> other impact. So anyhow. Okay, we got Rodney just showed up. Hey, Rodney. Hey. And yeah. thanks, minutes. Mike. Oh, okay. timer. oh Mike's okay. taking off. Everything's backwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks for joining, Mike. Thank you. We'll try to do these weekly. We'll try to do these. Um, I don't know. It's kind of fun to do cook and chat, especially this time of night. And at least Brian's here right now. Yeah. This is kind of a good hour where he usually comes home, but he happened to have the day off today. Yeah. So Next week, I'm up. But Friday. Mm-hmm. But Monday is usually a good night to do it. Anyway, so anyway, so what's up? So we got rotisserie chicken. Let's get our plates ready. We can do um, cut up our chicken. We got our buffalo cauliflower out and our dipping sauce. And what else? So, yeah. It, the, oh, I'll have, a, oh yeah, I'll have a little glass of wine. I don't know. Is red wine does what goes good with buffalo cauliflower? I think a white wine goes good with that. I'm not sure. But yeah, red, red, red revolution. That's good. Box wine, guys. We don't mess around over here. You got it. Better in the environment. It's uh, it's easier to recycle. Uh, it's lighter. Yeah. You take the recycling. It's true. Wow. Less. Plus in, more in less environmental impact. Yeah. Hey, David, you still live up here. Oh, David Lucero. He says, glad to see you guys live. Yeah. <laughs> he, so he's in North Carolina now. Oh, no way. Yeah. He moved to like, uh, I want to say Chatham, Chatham County or something like that. Chatham. That's where my parents were living. Yeah. Southern City. Yeah. So I think anyhow. But uh, mm. Budweiser for Mike. Pops, <laughs> pop, get Pops a Budweiser. <laughs> I, I, bought, I had a uh, English beer last night. It was a raspberry. Raspberry ale. Raspberry ale. It was really tasty. Mm-hmm. It's a, it was a good thirst quencher. So after a, a big workout or something, <laughs> I thought great Gatorade's good for that. What is it? <laughs> Gatorade. Gatorade after right. a big workout. Yeah, so um, oh, okay. Dave says he's in Pittsburgh now. So okay. yeah, well, it's right down the street from Tyler City. Um, High Point. So <laughs> High Point um, Circle is that up here? He said he lived in High Point Circle. I don't know where that is up here. Could be by Dory Lakes or something. But um, was it sweet? The beer. The ale? It was a little sweet, yeah. I like those. Um, what are those I could called? Say what it was. The the, the um the, the raspberry. Uh, what's it start with the L? Lambic. Those don't even taste like beer. They just taste like raspberry seltzer, practically. So, Dory Lakes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, we are fill you in on the weather. Uh, basically, a lot more of the same. It's been windy. David probably remembers this. It's been windy, 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 windy for days in a row and just blowing snow. And we get like a couple of inches and then like magically in the driveway, we have 20 inches of packed snow because it's been blowing and packing and blowing and packing. But that snow blower has been like awesome. So. Samuel Smith. Raspberry. Oh, alarm going off. Again. Yep. Oh, wow, wow. So, that's the beer. It was good. It's a, a, a one. You buy one of them at a time. So. So, so you can tell that there's sugar in the mixture because look at the little black around uh, around each cauliflower. And so it's sizzling. We better let it cool off before we take a bite. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. For sure. <laughs> so that's hot stuff right there. Whew. And 14 minutes left on the other cauliflower bites. Oh, you know what we could do is heat up the store bought. Oh yeah. That's all I'll do next. The bird's eye. What is bird's eye doing? They're trying to make everything for you. So <laughs> um can you heat these in the bags? Let me see. Our, our For an unopened bag and this this side up in the microwave. Do not pierce the bag. Okay, five minutes. So our microwave's on the fridge that almost caught on fire the other yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, we think we need a more, a few more super chats before we <laughs> replace that microwave. Yeah. Uh, some smoke came out of it. I don't know what happened. It's yeah. working now, but we just every now and then it starts next, to smoke. Next, next trip to Home Depot yeah. is going to be a new microwave. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So. I think they're on sale right now. So. That's good. So what else? The new. What else? Did David say. Uh, he likes watching her living vicariously. Yeah, yeah missing in the mountains. I bet. Yeah. It's fun. This time of year is kind of fun. I know it's like, oh, it's winter. It lasts a long time, but 
We lived in North Carolina 15 years. At least I did. How long did you live there? 2001. Yeah, so about the same, about the same time. So 16 years. And um, we, yeah, so it's a long time to live in the South and then not really ever enjoy the snow. And when it does snow, everything shuts down and people act crazy and they don't know how to drive. <laughs> the mica on the microwave, replace the mica. I don't know what the mica is. Is that a joke? We replace the mica on the microwave. We could have house swapped. Yeah, we could have. If you want to live in Greensboro. East of mine, mica in uh, North Carolina. Really? Yeah. It's funny because I see a lot more mica up here. Big, they have big sheets of it there. Uh, and they used it in uh, the glass, the, the see through part of an oven door. Oh, okay. Hey, Vigo wants to get on camera. You go. You go. Well, he's just, I'm just going to turn it. Turn, turn it. So everybody likes to see Vigo. Hey. Hey. Hey, come up to the mommy. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's like, oh, you have a cauliflower. Can I it's have hot. a bite of it? How can I get some of that? <laughs> uh, what, let's prime some of our upcoming videos. So what do you work on today? We got... Uh, uh, squeaky stare. Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah. You spoiled my spoiler. Oh. <laughs> we're working. There's, a, there's something on the stairs that we're working on. And um, Brian's been working away on his bicycle. Uh, sand, I've, I've put in hours and hours of sanding on my bike. Yeah. Well, hours. That's what hours. Brian's been doing since we came back from Christmas. I finally got it down to carbon, pure carbon fiber. So mm -hmm. I'm ready to start painting. Yeah. Okay. Two minutes to go. Those are good. Those are a little spicy. Um, that small silver square thing inside the microwave. Is it? The thing that's on the roof. Oh. I didn't know that was mica. I thought it was like aluminum or something. Yeah. I knew it was some kind of thing, some kind of magical thing. <laughs> it's like it looks, must do something up there. I don't know. It's kind of old, but uh, ah, <sighs> so what else? Yeah. Sweet and spicy. Sweet yeah. and spicy. Oh yeah, we're fixing our plates. Okay. It's about the limit of my spice right there. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Two minutes left on the on the, we're gonna compare and contrast on this. Oh you, you already had a bite. Nice. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't too hot. All right. So um Health benefits of cauliflower, a lot of fiber. It's a cruciferous vegetable. That means it's um, leaves form a cross. That's where the name comes from. Cruciferous vegetables like uh, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower. When you look at the stock, they have leaves that cross over. And that makes a cross. And cruciferous is where its name comes from. But they are known to be high sulfur foods, which is really good for your immune system. Um, known for fighting cancer. So really great foods to include on your daily, if not weekly budget for types of vegetables. So cruciferous. And cauliflower is not as annoying as broccoli. It doesn't get stuck in your teeth the same, mm -hmm. has a milder flavor, and it's um, uh, versatile. So like you people say, you can blend it up into fake mashed potatoes. Okay, the, how's the Crash Mobile doing? Crash Mobile. Uh, Crash Mobile, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got a call from the collision center today and they said, good news, we got your part, but it, it's gonna be ready Wednesday. Okay, so Wednesday, it'll be ready. Um, do you get your Air Force jets going by? Uh, we do get. Do we get Air Force jets going by? We do uh, get a lot very of. Very rarely. I think we get a lot of airport traffic going by. They, something happened in the county, and right. it had to do with traffic, and a lot of it's coming over Gilpin County. A lot of people are upset by it. I do notice it outside. Um, but yeah, we have the um, airplane lights come right through the sky, right over there. Vigo barks at them every time. At night, Vigo's always barking at the airplanes in the sky. So he just sees a light and he thinks it's a headlight. But um, four years, David says, the four years have been blown by, blown by for us in North Carolina. How long have you been in Colorado? We moved here in March. 
I think we, when did we leave? March? Uh, we left, May 2017. We left in May. David, we, I think we did a high five on the road, maybe, because we left in May 2017 and uh, we rented for a year. And then I guess that means we've been living here. For, this is our thir third year, perhaps. Time points when you're having fun. When you're so busy, you can't stop. Yeah, I got some bird's eye. Bird's eye. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, Weak. Yeah. Weak. Doesn't have breading on it, does it? Yeah. Take it easy now. Yeah. They didn't look the same at all. Well, they're not breaded, so that's one yeah. difference. Yeah. They just, just call it flower with buffalo sauce. Buffalo sure. sauce. Yeah. Um, the Denver airport, John. So that's uh, it's what, an hour and a half drive for oh, us yeah. to get to the Denver airport. But so for some reason, they, it flies south and flies over us. It flies Vegas. west, southwest. <laughs> Everybody that's going to Vegas. 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 Uh, 13 acre farm with chickens and goats. Oh, oh wow. that's nice. Pittsburgh. We have a friend that lives in Pittsburgh and uh, been there quite a bit. So. And there used to be a music festival in the area. I used to go to that quite a bit. Um, so definitely Saxapaha. That's another town in North Carolina on the Haw River. Actually, somebody, somebody from there? I don't know. I'm trying to think of a, somebody's comment about Saxapaha. But yeah, a lot of cool places. I definitely explored a lot of North mm -hmm. Carolina. Mmm, supper's ready. Kind of, it's kind of monocolored, isn't it? Yeah. Like a tan. Mm. Where's the dip? I'm dropping stuff. Okay, that's my dip. You want to try one of these? Yep, I gotta do taste test. I thought I was gonna do a blind taste test, but now that I know that one has bread and one doesn't, I guess we can't yeah, do a blind. You can do that out just by the mm. caramelized gumminess mm -hmm. on yours. Okay. So, what else? Cook and chat. Now is the time where we chat, right? <laughs> so, we chat. Um, <laughs> do you visit with your neighbors? Yeah. Um, well, not. We haven't, we haven't visited with them in a while. We have, not really right now. It's just there's a lot going on with folks and I don't know COVID and you know being comfortable mingling and all that kind of stuff. Although in the summertime we go over there and hang out and uh, no big deal, you know. Right. Um, Plus, I work at a hospital, so I don't like to. Bring home my cooties. Yeah, Brian, Brian works at a hospital with <laughs> people all day long, so probably not the right person to be mixing with everybody else in the like, county. Um, I've been vaccinated. So. You had your vaccine. I did the yeah. vaccine. Yeah. And what did you have when you, uh, any symptoms vaccine. when you had that? So, no symptoms with the first one, with the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. The second dose got it at eight in the morning, chills from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. So, and they went away really? just in time to go to work. <laughs> we got Susan. Hello from Maine. Hey. All right. And great place. Hello. Welcome. We're we're at the chat portion of our cooking chat and the eat cooking portion now. <laughs> we know we're at the. Um, uh, so the the bird's eye ones are pretty basic. They're basic. Work. Okay, I tried tried mine. I knew what it was going to taste like, but we tried the bird's eye one. Did you try it with dip? No. Can't taste any flavor. Amy's are better. But I don't I don't I really <laughs> don't taste any flavor on the bird's eye one. No. Like maybe that like a little bit of heat. John Hancock from Minnesota. Minnesota. Hello, John. Did you guys get a bunch of snow out there? I thought the Midwest got hammered this week or last week. Minnesota. Yeah. Anyway, North Carolina. Iowa, North Carolina had snow this morning. David, you must have had snow, or yesterday, a couple days ago. People were posting on Facebook about their. We still got a lot of North Carolina friends, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, you're off camera. What are you doing? Oh, getting a bone out of your chicken. Mm -hmm. They didn't have snow. Okay. Because you guys know Stony Ridge Farmer. He's in North Carolina, and he got a bunch of snow at his place. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And people in North, like North Raleigh had it. Okay. I think um, they're probably in Northern. 
So maybe Pittsburgh was like a little bit, maybe that was a little bit too far in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, huh, cool. Well, I hope, who's going to try the cauliflower? 18 below. Burr. That's cold. That's colder than we get. Yeah. Hasn't been that cold here at all. Josh got dumped on ya. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Josh. Mm. Yeah, he got the colder too. He did. Mm. Mm. So. These are good. So. Wait, what? What'd you say? <laughs> These are good? These are good. So. <laughs> Anything with the sugary coating. <laughs> I put more honey and less less hot sauce. But anybody else could make it the other way around. If you don't like it too sweet, you can put a little bit more hot sauce on it. Mm -hmm. So definitely a good way to eat a vegetable. So, yeah. You know, you people think about your, your day. they don't, you know, you want to eat more vegetables, you want to get more healthy, but it doesn't mean you have to steam everything and eat salads all the time. You can get a lot more healthy stuff, even if you Say so you put a little cheese on there. Say so you put a little breading on it. Nothing wrong with that. You can do that as you get started. And then, you know, try as you get used to the flavor of cauliflower, then you can make it some different ways. And so it's just about trying new things and getting those nutrients in. We're mostly getting sick from not getting enough nutrients in. And a vitamin pill doesn't fix that. So yeah, most vitamins, just, unless it's some kind of a gel, it's going to go right through your own. Poop it out. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Talk <laughs> while we're eating. Uh, so well i guess that might conclude our the rest of our cooking chat for tonight we're going to finish our dinner let us know in the comments if you can think of another hey barb's country home from texas welcome we just tuned in from, from the very end <laughs> i feel like we've been talking for a half hour probably have been i could do it easily I get code non-stop <laughs> what me hey when you're trying to sleep yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> sleep. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. I'm a, I'm a public speaker. Okay, this one's ready. Clean off. I'm going to put my glaze on the one that we put in 25 minutes ago. I don't have to do it right now. I'm just going to take them out. All right, guys. Buffalo cauliflower bites. I'll put more information once this gets uploaded. And then I'll put the recipe in there so you can try it out. But it's really good. If you like things with a little bit of heat or a little bit of sweet and heat, it's a great way to eat cauliflower that's not steamed. Right. And the uh, you know the yogurt dip is really nice too. Mm -hmm. That's a nice compliment to it. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, thanks for joining us. And we'll catch you next time. And James Turner says, here in North Carolina, Elon, a lot of snow in the forecast usually ending up melting with the rain. Yeah. That's what I remember about North Carolina. Get snow and then rain on top of that. Vermont's like that. In Vermont. For some reason. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of snow and then. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully to see you guys next Monday. And I'll see if I can't think of an, a recipe in advance. So we can uh, attract more folks coming in to the live chat. <laughs> Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. Now we have to end. <laughs>